CK, it's Gatsby here, and for today's nature note, we're going to be heading into Ontario's wilderness to check out some of our wild Stop! Stop! You don't need you to don't go need far to, go to far experience, experience Ontario's, Ontario's wilderness. wilderness. You, can you can find tons, tons of wildlife, wildlife in your own in your backyard. Own backyard. Yeah. I bet I if bet. you spend the afternoon getting to know your own backyard, you'll be amazed at what you'll find. I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Crikey! What a good idea! I decided to spend the afternoon in my backyard, and you'll never believe how much wildlife I found. I'm so excited to share my discoveries with everyone. Crikey! Would you look at that? Looks like we have a gray squirrel. Did you know that gray squirrels can actually be either gray or black? Oh my goodness! Oh, I mean, would you look at that? There's a chipmunk there too! Gray squirrels and chipmunks are both omnivores, which means they eat meat, like insects, and plants, like nuts and berries that they find on the ground. Gray squirrels and chipmunks hide their food in caches, which can be anything. It can be a hole in the ground or a space under the roots of a tree. They remember where these caches are, and then they go back and grab their food afterwards. Did you know that gray squirrels can have up to a thousand caches and they can remember where each one is? That's incredible. I think all the gray squirrels and chipmunks have left, so I've decided to seek some higher elevation to see what I can find. Perfect. I bet I'll see a lot more wildlife at this higher altitude. <sighs> oh wow, that was a steep climb, but this picnic table is some great elevation. Now let's look around and see if we can see anything else. <laughs> oh, why me? Did you see that? Oh my goodness, she's a beaut! I bet that was the Canada Darner dragonfly. Dragonflies are so cool. Did you know there's more than 130 species in Ontario alone? Dragonflies are amazing flyers, better than the best airplane. Oh my gosh, there goes another one! We should all be so, so thankful for dragonflies because one of their favorite foods is mosquitoes. Oh, they need to work a little harder here though. These dragonflies are so cool. Most adults only live up to five weeks. Can you believe that? When you're in your backyard exploring and looking for wildlife, it's important to be as quiet as you can be so that you don't scare anyone away. Shh, we have to be super quiet. We don't want to scare the sugar maple tree away. Let's approach very carefully. I've never gotten this close to one before. Maybe she'll even let me pet her. A true explorer also uses their ears as well as their eyes when they're out looking for wildlife. Did you hear that? That was definitely a robin. Yep, you can tell it's a robin because of its big red tummy. Also, robins have a very distinctive call. When they talk to each other, it sounds like they're having a conversation. They say, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Over and over again. Another bird call. That must have been a northern cardinal. When northern cardinals call to each other, it sounds like they're saying, burrito, burrito, pew, 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 burrito, burrito, pew, pew, pew. I was exhausted after such a long day of adventuring, but I had a great time exploring my own backyard and looking for wildlife. Now it's up to you. Check out Bristol's eco-activity to find out how you can become an expert explorer too.